What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Ultra League Premier Cup Classic as it drops later today. As we can see here from the Season 9 schedule from the Pokemon Go Live post, we have the Ultra League, the Ultra League Premier Cup Classic, and we still have the Halloween Cup, which will end on November 2nd. Now, what's amazing about this Ultra League rotation is the Ultra League Premier Cup Classic League will be banning XL Pokemon, which is absolutely amazing. If you have XL Pokemon and you still want to use those, you can still use them in the Open Ultra League. But for this Ultra League Premier Cup, there will be no Legendaries, no Mythicals, and no XL Pokemon, which gives us an amazing accessible meta that I think you guys will really enjoy, as I absolutely loved it a year ago when that was the case before XL Pokemon came out. It was the new Great League. So, we are going to be diving onto PV Poke, talking about um, the new Pokemon, like Trevenant here, which is available in the wild. You guys can catch it right now. And a little trick, if you guys trade it as well, you guys don't need to spend any candy to evolve it. It'll be a free evolve, which is awesome. But Trevenant and Sylveon are looking to be some of the top meta picks this time around. Obviously, you guys can go over to pvpoke.com. Actually, you can't see the uh, drop-down menu here, but Ultra League Premier Cup Classic is available there for you guys to see. And as you can see, there are no XL Pokemon here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have access to these things like Swampert or Venusaur or Machamp, um, maybe Gudra, Snorlax, Granbull, Meganium. This is a really awesome list and a fantastic open meta. There's going to be a lot of great teams um, that you guys can access. And also, if you guys want to look up some of my old teams that I do have before XL Pokemon came out, just go to YouTube and type in, actually you guys can't see it, let me drag it down a bit. Type in um, Zionic Ultra League Premier Cup and then look at the dates. So you can see this was made a year ago um, or this one down here was seven months ago. This was before XL Pokemon. Um, or this one, let's see right here, seven months ago. Um, these were a lot of great teams, either made by community members, which I shout them out in the video, or made by myself, but they're very, very strong in the meta. So be sure to have a look if you guys want some team ideas um, from long before XO Pokemon were a thing. I have them on the channel. You just got to search it up and make sure to look at the time, basically a year plus, um, because this time last year is kind of when XO Pokemon came out but let's talk about trevenant here trevenant has shadow claw seed bomb and shadow ball it absolutely stomps a lot of the meta that we see that's very diverse as well so the um empoleon Gallade core which used to be my absolute favorite is no longer safe with trevenant here because of shadow claw seed bomb and shadow ball but we are gonna also see a rise in pokemon like obstagoon and snorlax which are very popular and very accessible in this meta so trevenant does have to watch out for that but you can have some great coverages to these guys as well sylveon is kind of another new one it's going to be a pure charmer pure fairy here um, that obviously is going to stomp a lot of the darks and fighters that we see but you do need to watch out for some of those steals and those poisons as they'll be doing super effective damage like venusaur um empoleon just resisting right because of its typing but then we start to go down we see a lot of great pokemon here swamper sir fetched which sir fetched my goodness this thing is awesome it has fantastic coverages as well and even though that you see it has a key loss here versus trevenant remember sir fetch does have access to night slash so if we were going to take a look at this fight i'm sure it's going to be a lot different if it does have night slash so let's go ahead and change brave bird here to night slash because this is a very strong move set night slash is going to be doing 44 percent of the health there to trevenant while shadow ball is doing seven. Oh, that really hurts um but yeah you have night you still lose the matchup but now you have shield pressure ability especially if you farm down a snorlax right so we may see a lot of surfetch um, run with night slash this time around to help cover the trevenant that are going to be in the meta um, we also see stuff like S Cavalier, which is great. And what's good as well is S Cavalier really has to watch out for stuff like Charizard, Typhlosion, um, and Talonflame. 
um, who run fire type fast moves, but Talonflame being the most popular is most likely never gonna be seen because everyone's Talonflame is XL. So it's out of the meta, so we're probably not gonna see that here. It has great move set. It can cover the Snorlax Obstagoon, which we do see are gonna be great counters to Trevenant. So maybe pairing a Trevenant with an S, -Cav or S Cavalier could be a nice pairing, but again, you gotta watch out for fires as Trevenant is gonna be that part grass typing as well. As we go down, Nidoqueen, Venusaur, gosh, Venusaur is just so good, Machamp as well, which I think everyone has a Machamp, and Machamp can pair with so many good things. I really like the Gengar Machamp pairing, which I do have a video on. Um, if you guys go back through, go back through here, I think it might be this one. Yeah, Machamp, um, Machamp, Gengar, and Lapras right there. Really nice um, pairing from that team, um, but yeah. The meta, oh, I'm so excited because this is like, it's like Great League 2.0, but without Azumarill and Galarian Stunfisk and what have you, and there's no XL Pokemon. So you guys have all access to this stuff. Now, obviously I know some of these Pokemon, you may not have community day moves or you may not have enough candy, um, but there is enough strong Pokemon here that you can build yourself a great team. I think some really key stuff to focus on um, is either build yourself a Trevenant and look to build teams around that or build Pokemon to counter Trevenant and build a team around that. So basically, if you don't have Trevenant or you don't want to use Trevenant, you're going to want to build around a Snorlax or Obstagoon or Dragonite um, as they can do really well there. So... This is just a quick video. We're at we're at six minutes or something here, um, but I just want to let you guys know that it is coming. And again, if you even if you don't want to compete in the Ultra League, um, this rotation you still have access to Halloween Cup until November second, which is about one more week, roughly, just a little bit under a week of access, which is really awesome. Um, which means you only have to skip one week week of playing. Um, before we go into November 8th, which is going to be the Master League and Master League Classic. We also have the Special Cup, which is currently being voted on. So right now on Twitter, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. There is a vote now. Um, it has about three days left, I believe two days left to vote for this on the next cup that we play in, which as you guys saw from here is going to be Master League, Master League Premier Cup Classic, and the Special Cup Player's Choice. Now, I want you guys all to remember, there's a close tie between Little Cup and Kanto Cup right here. As you can see, I have voted um, for the Kanto Cup, but remember for those of you who may not know what the Little Cup was, um, you didn't participate in it at this time last year, the Little Cup was dominated by Bronzer. Bronzer, first of all, was very expensive. Secondly, it beat almost everything. There was a few things that could counter it, but everyone, their cousins, their step, their stepbrothers, their freaking mailman, all ran bronzer. So if you vote for Little Cup, understand that that is the price you're going to pay. You're voting to have two weeks of nothing but bronzer, 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 which is why I decided to vote for the Kanto Cup um, because I like the diversity of that meta that we do see. Yes, we have played the Kanto Cup quite a few times, but on the flip side of that, we have invested in those Pokemon for the Kanto Cup, so we get to use them over and over, and the meta is still pretty nice. Um, so yeah, be careful, be sure to vote if you haven't already, and if you guys decide to vote for the Little Cup and the Little Cup wins, well, you're going to understand why that may not have been the best choice, but um, that's going to be it for today's video. I just want to let you guys know um, I have been sick. I don't know if you guys could probably hear, but I've been sick for the past like week. It's been a struggle. Um, I've taken tests. I don't have COVID, but it was just like my whole family was just hit like with the flu or something. Um, so that is why the videos have kind of been up and down, um, throughout the week, but we're coming back into it. I'm coming out on the other side of it and I'm excited to dive into Ultra League tomorrow, Ultra League Premier Cup Classic tomorrow, because my goodness, I have like all of these Pokemon, um, and it's, it's going to be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.